Today is going to be kind of a jumbled mess. So if we uh, look here at our last chicken video, it was right here. It was on, what's the day? July 27th, 2020. And that was a live video concerning us giving back Lucy from where we got it and getting two more chickens. And that was a live video that we do. It's called Cooped Up. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch that. Immediately after that, I think it was the day after that. Was it the day after we did that cooped up that we, yeah? Huh. Well, today's the day that we uh, have to say goodbye to one of our birds because she is causing too much damage to the other ones. Like right here. That little one there, you can see that she's missing a lot of feathers around her neck. And then blue, right there, even more feathers missing from her neck. And it seems as though she knows that she's going to be leaving because she's the only one not in the run. She's inside the coop somewhere. I don't see her in here. Oh, there she is. All right, Lucy, you did this to yourself. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying, so pleading your case isn't going to do any good. So unfortunately, we have to get rid of Lucy. She's just uh, causing too much damage. Um, so we're, what we're going to end up doing is bringing her back to uh, the farm that we got her from and uh, she's probably gonna be a breeding bird again because she is still really pretty and she she will produce probably some good looking chicks I don't I don't I don't know exactly so now it just comes down to being able to catch her Are you ready okay you wanna want me to push her out towards you or do you want to push her out towards me or should I just grab her it's really easier to get her like, if we can get Sunny out and close that door. Okay. And then get her out from because it's a smaller space. Sure, okay. All right, I gotta close this. I gotta get Sunny out of there. Oh, you're going the wrong way, Sunny. Oh, no, she's in the big coop. Here, I'll close this. You grab her from the big side. So we're kind of bummed about this, but uh, we don't want uh, the other birds to get more damage than they are. She's just too much of a bully. She's number two in the pecking order, so the only bird that she never uh, picked on was uh, Henrietta, who is the head hen. And she is, I mean, nice to hold and stuff, but she's just, uh, she's too mean. So that's what, we'll, that's what we're gonna do. And we don't want to turn her into soup or anything like that. She, she's a pet to us and she's just not a good pet for the rest of the pets. So we're gonna bring her to the farm and go pick out another one. Just driving to the farm and uh, past the semi truck and then suddenly, suddenly that happens. What a bummer. But luckily the windshield was already cracked so not that big of a deal. Oh and there's also that one. All right. It's really pretty through that coaching. Okay, and the other one? It's pretty hard to suck from here. Yeah, yeah, it's still pretty undetermined. Okay. Um, Big black speckled head if you like her. Um, oh, I, this, this. The uh, second pen in the corner there. Uh, it's got black and white speckles. Oh yeah, okay. She's a little bit more plain though. That's a black, or a modeled black Orpington. Do you, uh, did you have, or have a chance to go to any shows with COVID and everything? No, they were all canceled. To be honest though, I've even sold more this year than regular. Really? Like more people want to go? 
Oh yeah, I probably had no five or six hundred pixels here. I just had them all like pretty well pre sold. Wow, and you're mailing them? No, okay. people just came here on okay. Satan Silky. Satan feathers, Silky? Her feathers are like not as. Yeah, they're silky. not actually as silky. So, yeah, I like that one. Would she do better in like the winter then? Because she's not as. Yeah, like she would just, uh, she got the regular feathers the on regular her. Regular feathers, yeah, I like her. You want to get that one then, Ash? If you don't mind parting with her. Yet. No, that should be alright if you're alright with that. Okay. I'm 100% sure this is a hen, that one 90%. Okay. Hopefully so it is. You can kind of tell in the two silkies in that pen. See how those kind of get those little shiny in their uh, top hat there? Okay, yeah. How it's kind of a little bit more spiky and shiny? Mm -hmm. That'll be a rooster. Oh, really? Okay. And you don't have to be on a time. I can't tell those. No. This looks like a huge nut sack. Gross. <laughs> So, These are all the roosters, yeah? No. Uh, or what? Oh, what's that one right there? The black and like copper one. Uh, that'd be a rooster, a gold lace Brahma. That's freaking nice looking. That's so cute. Yeah, that is pretty cute. And most of these are just frizzled naked necks and frizzled naked necks. They're like frizzled or pink Like what is this? Um, those buff ones are crossed with their orphan tips. Oh yeah, totally looks like that. <laughs> that rooster there, he looks like he has devil horns. This yeah. Those are the silver spits and hobbins for the hens. So cool. He's got like devil horns, eh? Yeah, they got the, I think they call them a peep horn. Not a peep horn, a split tone. I forget what the name is. And that's one of those black ones, like, uh, yeah, like sure. you have the hen in that. Look at that really long one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a crossing one, really. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. So we got those two birds there. They are, so this one is a silky cross with something. And then the other one, and they're both bantams. That one's a cochin. A, a cochin the one that looks kind of like a penguin there. Uh, we need to think of some names. I don't know what they're going to be, but on the ride home, we'll think of some. We were actually going to get three birds, but the other one was older. And uh, since she was older, just when we do the whole quarantine thing, like quarantining that big old bird with these two might be unsafe. So we decided not to get that third one, but I really wanted to. I I was almost, I was like, maybe we'll build another coop or something. <laughs> we'll just try to, but it's, it's not going to work. Anyway, let's go home. Yeah, let's check it out his shadow. Where is she? There she is. Uh, Ashley just made a um, apple crisp, and so she she has the apple cores. And we're gonna go give these to the birds. Um, they like fruit. Here, I'll give that back to you. They like fruit. Oh, there's Hank too. He's like, can I have some of that, bro? They really like fruit and vegetables uh, and sunflower seeds. And uh, what we've been doing is uh, we let our lettuce go to seed. And so it gets really tall. I'll show you that real quick. Oh, did you take the last one out? No, the wind blew it over. Oh, the wind blew it. Okay, I'm still gonna try to show you. Oh, here's one left. There used to be two. So if you don't know what lettuce looks like while uh, while it's going to seed, it kind of looks like a, almost like a, a plant that you would plant maybe? I don't know. But anyways, we, we give them these. There's one down there. We'll probably have to give that to them. Uh, here right away, but today they're gonna get like a treat. Okay, so these are these are uh, what kind of apples? Crab apples? I don't know. I don't know. They're kind of bigger than crab apples. Yeah, and they're sweet, and sometimes they're sour. So let's see how they like this. I gave them some the other day, and they liked it. Well, they're not really going crazy for it this time for some reason. Yeah, that we'll could be it. Back in like half an hour, I'll be gone. The babies want some, but they're still so small. This is my favorite chicken, Sunny. Look at her tail, it's so crooked. It's got paint on it. Yeah, it's just paint on it from when I made the extra nest box in there. I didn't realize the paint was still a little wet. And I love her comb. I love how it just like slurps over her, her, <laughs> her eye. 
Here comes Nugget. Hey, throw it some sunflower seeds, if you would, please. You can see all these chickens are going in because they want some of the sunflower seeds, but we're gonna watch them all fly down the ramp when Ashley, she's gonna throw it over the... <laughs> oh, I love it when that happens. So chickens, most people know this, but chickens can't really fly very far. At least most of them can't. There are some breeds that can fly a decent distance. Not like a bird that you'd see in the sky or anything like that, but most of them just kind of jump and uh, kind of glide is not the right word, but it's like a clumsy little fall or maybe it's a elegant fall. I don't know what to be the right way to describe it, but yeah. So we have these two birds here. They're separated by this little thing that Ashley made. And she actually made these for Peep and Minnie when they were new, but now they've, they're totally integrated. But these ones are not quite integrated yet, so they're kind of separate. What would be great is if they had a bigger space that didn't take away from the space that we have for all these birds. Oh, I just stepped on the nastiest crap. I was slippery. It was probably from Sunny. In, in time, we may expand this a little bit. We are thinking about taking our old temporary coop, if you've been watching for a long time, or if you watched our uh, first winter with chickens video, then you saw it there at the beginning. Uh, we might take that coop, clad it like this one, and put it over, uh, so we have a bit of a trail here. So we might put it on that side of, of this here. I can't really explain it that well. Then expand the run by one more length. We have the poles here. We'll put another thing of poles there or maybe even two or something like that. And then we'll have a separate run separated by a door that we'd put in here somewhere or something like that. I don't I don't know exactly how we'd do it. We'd put a door probably maybe, maybe here. And then you could go into that run and then we'll have another door, of course, on the outside. But we'd have a door between them just for ease of uh, travel. And then the reason why we'd put a coop there is uh, for when we got new birds uh, or birds that are too small or whatever. We're, not, we're only planning on getting a couple, so it would be like the hospital coop, whatever. Or if we, someone asks us to take their chickens or something like that, in those kinds of cases, we would take more birds. But uh, we're basically at what we want. Uh, oh, look, Sonny's going through the fence there. That would be bad if we had raccoons, because raccoons like to grab their heads and uh, bite their heads off and then drink all their blood, but we don't have raccoons here. What's up, Ginger? You still broody? A little bit. A little bit? She was standing most of today, but she also, last night, Went straight to the, the nest box as soon as I let her out. Oh, and then she squished herself into a little chicken pancake? Yep. <laughs> 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 what about you girls? Are you guys ready to go into your, your new home? Huh? Ready to be the, one of the big girls? What about you over there? That I can't focus on because this grid is too tight. <laughs> So today is the day that we take the new birds and integrate them with all the other birds. Now they have been free ranging uh, all together out and about, but while they have been inside the run, they have been blocked off, partitioned off, I guess you could say, uh, with this right here. Look at them, look at them. They're getting less scared of me now. Look at Blue, look how good her, her neck is looking now it's it's awesome this is what we were hanging the the lettuce on also this this is to keep away certain pests they don't like the smell of uh vanilla i mean i do though i guess i'm not that much of a pest a little while ago you guys already know about uh these birds here peep and minnie they're still good companions they have been integrated for a while now and they are all doing good. Now the thing about this bird here, Peep, she uh, she's a bully. 
unfortunately, much like uh, Lucy was, minus the the feather pecking. But she goes after these these girls when they're free ranging. When they're free ranging. So we're gonna put Peep in here by herself to reset the pecking order, pecking order and take Phoebe and Plum out and put them with the big girls because the other girls do fine with them. Okay. Now, uh, Peep, she is actually really, really hard to catch because uh, I don't. She's super flighty. Uh, she's like a, a fast bird. <laughs> <laughs> she's so fast. She's just really fast. Probably easier to catch her in there, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll close that and then yeah. we'll be able to get her. To... Oh, why? Who was that? Sunny. Sunny. Why'd you have to just drop a deuce right there? Oh yeah, give me that shovel. <laughs> Gross. I didn't have to smear it. I didn't smear it. <laughs> Here, let's it. That's a good one. All right. All right, peep. I'm coming for you, girl. I don't actually know how that song goes. <laughs> you got her. You got her. Oh no! Why is the food in the way? No! I got her. I got her. Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, this is even easier. Genius, Ashley. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, I, I could probably open that up for for mini there. Okay, so we got Peep inside uh, the the little uh, hospital coop, which means that we can take these girls out, um, and this way it'll reset her place in the pecking order if we keep her separated for a little bit and then she won't be such a bully to these girls here in theory that's the hope, that's the hope says Ashley just untying it there come on out ladies now there's probably still going to be a little squabble here because they haven't been in the run yet but that I mean I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know chickens but let's see what happens and we also took Ginger out of her. She, she's broody, but but uh, we usually bring her out of here, test her. If she goes into the nest box, then we separate her again, just to kick her out of her broodiness. But it looks like she's actually doing fine. Oh, there goes Henrietta. No, oh, she doesn't even care. They've been free-ranging quite a bit together, so maybe she's just used to it and she doesn't it doesn't matter to her. And you can see one of our other new birds, our our old new bird, doesn't care about them either. No, she doesn't. That's good. Look at those fluffy butts. Now if you follow Ashley on Instagram, then you already know her names and you just heard her just a minute ago refer to them as as plum and uh, Phoebe and I'll just introduce you to them here real quick because it seems like nothing of interest is coming out of this introduction oh wait maybe I spoke too soon okay yeah I expected that to happen but a little sooner hmm Weird. Oh, here comes Blue. Look how good she looks. She looks so good. So good. She just needs a little feathers on her on her throat, and then she'll be yeah, she'll be right as rain. See, the difference between them is they just kind of like show that hey, that's my prom or whatever, right? And yeah. then they leave it be. But Peep, she'll actually like chase them. Right. So and cool. and Lucy, the one that we got rid of, who was the same type of bird as Blue here. Yeah. She was just like, hey, I want to eat your feathers. <laughs> Did you see that? Fast. Uh, they're mostly leaving each other alone, which is good. Which is what we want, right? Yeah. What a stupid question. We want them to leave each other alone, right? 
Yeah. So we'll put that back up, and then that will be uh, Peep's little run for how long? You don't know? I don't know. Maybe a week or so? We'll see how it goes. We'll like let them free range together and see how she does when they're free ranging. Okay. Yeah. Alright, come here girls. So much easier to catch these <laughs> these girls here. So the one that Ashley is holding here. Oh she I didn't notice that before. She has like a yellow tip on her beak. <laughs> so this one here, I wanted to name her Gwen, as in penguin, because she kinda has like penguin color to her. But uh, we decided instead to name her uh, Plum. She's uh, as in Plum Sauce. She's the same type of chicken as Nugget, which is a Cochin, a Bantam Cochin. And uh, so, yeah, Plum, that's a good name. Yeah. As in Plum Sauce. And then this one here, we named her Phoebe. Uh, Phoebe, that's uh, P as in Phoebe, H as in Hebe, O as in Obi. B as in BB and E as in hello there, mate. <laughs> that's a that's a friend's joke. Uh, so this one is Phoebe, and she is a satin silky. Satin silky. So she's a kosher silky cross. Okay, and okay. the cool thing about her, if you can see that she has extra extra toes. Her kochiness has has feathers on her feet, but you can see she has an extra toe right there. So. Mm -hmm. I think that's super cool. Silkies normally have an extra toe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. But so this one, yeah, this one is uh, sort of special in that way for for our flock, and uh, yeah, she's pretty she's pretty chill. Like she's almost a falcon here. <laughs> like she's so like 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 carefree. She doesn't care about being held. She's not. What are you doing, buddy? So it turns out that Hank was barking at nothing, but now the girls, as I come back, are checking out uh, the big side of the coop. They've never been in here before. And here comes Blue. Oh, I'm glad that they're all getting along. We had to put... Uh, Ginger back up here, Ashley did, because uh, as uh, I was seeing what Hank was doing, she decided to make her way into a nest box. So this is where she's going to have to stay. There are methods of breaking them out of their brooding, including like dunking them in cold water, because a lot of it has to do with like their body temperature or something like that. I'm probably explaining that wrong, but um, it gets cold at night here, so if they don't dry off in time, it'll be if we put her in water she might get too cold at night so we're just gonna keep her separated for now oh and here's Henrietta still not caring about the birds the new birds that's excellent so there is more that we have to do in the run infrastructure wise so I think I will get to that now so this railing used to be in our house we didn't need it so Decided to just repurpose it for a little perch thing here in the run. The birds are always walking on this and so I figured this would give them a little more room because they're always kind of squished up against the, the wire here and this I think will just give them a little more walking room maybe. Okay, now the next thing I have to do is get something that's way up there, which is not that big a deal, except for that we have uh, Ginger back here and her cage is kind of in the way. So let me kind of try to work around this. We are adding a, uh, there's nothing to grab onto. We are adding uh, another water feeder, a bigger one, finally, after so much time. Here. Hold that 
didn't break it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that it has the nipples on the bottom. Well, we might have to go buy a new one. <laughs> we'll just use the one we have in that case. There's nothing. I don't know if that's gonna hold you, babe. I'm not putting my weight on it. Just need to place place my foot. Okay. Phew. Okay, it's good. They're supposed to be bent because they they wiggle. Okay, let's go fill this up with water. Yeah, probably a good idea. And this too. It's a little dusty. Well, I guess the inside wasn't that dusty, but... Okay. So since the feeder dish, water feeder, what do you call that? Water dish? Water? Water? Since the other water is is clear, or it's more white, it's trans translucent, it collects algae uh, at a faster rate than this is supposed to. So this is blue, which is supposed to keep, or block the sunlight better. What is up with this bug? So that is why we are gonna finally test this out. We meant to do this a while ago, but, I yeah. Think this is one of the first things we bought for our chicken. Like it it two actually, years ago. Yeah, we bought it a long time ago. And we haven't used it. Yeah, we haven't used it yet. And we'll see how it works. They might not be able to quite figure out how to use it, so that'll be fun to to see. No leaks? Well, leaking a little bit. Well, it's supposed to leak a little bit. But as long as it's not pouring out there, we know that it's good. Look at those nips. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to put it right under here. That gives them enough room to, to suck on the water nipples. <laughs> uh. So I went and grabbed my pail of hooks and I found one of these and I'm hoping that I'll have another one in here because those will be perfect to hang that pail on. There we go. Two of them. Excellent. Alright, let's just see if that works. Excellent. No? Oh, it's too high. Okay, how high, or where do you think it should go? Um, lower. Lower? Well, it has to be nugget. Nugget has to be able to, yeah. Okay. What if I just put it there? Yeah, that would be probably better. Or like a little bit higher. A little bit higher? Okay, mm -hmm. what if I just put it over here? Yeah. I grabbed these hooks because I thought they would be perfect for, uh, you know, hanging it underneath. Mm. But this works too. Okay, let's see if that works. Is that too low? Um, I think that'd be good for a nugget, but... Not for anyone else? Yeah, this is hard. Third time's the charm. There, how's that? That's better. Yeah? All right, excellent. Clean off those nips, and, <laughs> and then it should be good. Okay, so how this works is just kind of like a like a hamster water thing. Push on the on the metal, yeah. So it has very little leaking when they're down, and 
Except for that one, probably because I dropped it. Hmm. We might have to block that one off. Whoops. Leaky nipples. <laughs> well, because of my bad, it does have a, a faulty nipple, but that'll work. In the winter time, we don't actually have the water out here because it, it freezes. We have a heated uh, dog bowl for inside the coop. Um, we don't have water in the coop in the summer because of humidity and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, I don't know, chickens are finicky. In the winter, we have no choice but to put it in there. Otherwise, it just freezes and then they won't have any water. But for now, I think, uh, I think, I think that'll work. What else did I need to do? I think that was it. That's it? So there is actually one thing left to do that I forgot about. Temporary dust bath. So we're gonna make a really nice um, dust bath. But there's a wood shortage right now and it's making wood super expensive. So what I wanted to build is gonna be put on hold because yeah, life. So what we're gonna do instead is make a temporary dust bath. And I found these two pieces of plywood in the shop and I'm gonna to try to jimmy up something that looks half decent. Luckily, these are slightly different sizes, and that'll allow me to do this uh, little overlap joint here. And then they will still be the same size on both sides. Whew, that's great on the ears. Could you hold this for me? Because you want to be able to grab yeah. that out to change the yeah. dirt or add dirt or whatever. That's probably the best spot. Yeah? Mm. Should we... That'll make it so it's still easy to walk around everything? Or here, but either way it's not meant for fun. Either, either one. Over here there's more... There's a little more space. There's a little more space. Yeah. And you won't have to pull it out. You can just... Well, whatever. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Drop a little bit more. Okay. Okay. 
this under here temporarily. There we go. There we go. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now we'll need some stilts, some legs to kind of hold it up. Okay. Look at this. Nice accenting of blue, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't even, I don't remember where I got these from. Okay, I have some uh, 4x4s over here. Okay. Okay, these are the tallest ones I have, so hopefully they will work. So, this needs to go up like that. So I will have to cut this at a 45. So within the theory of good enough, once I screw that in, I think that actually, for what it is, temporary and all that, it's gonna work, I think, decently. What I wanted to do, or what we wanted to do here, is uh, make something, you know, a little more uh, substantial, not just a little piece of uh, Tupperware. But this is all we can do for now because everything is so freaking expensive. And what I wanted to do is, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to do that right now. Now, if we had some shingles or something, we'd put it on top of here. Uh, I even checked if there was any of that available when we were going to do this a little while ago. And there's none of those types of shingles left, only asphalt. And uh, we want it to match. So for now, this, this, is, <laughs> this is what it is. It's like their little bathing hut. Yeah, bathing hut, bathhouse. Bathhouse. Bath <laughs> Uh, it, it'll work for it'll work it'll serve its purpose it'll keep the rain out and uh, well when in the winter we'll have this covered again but uh, it'll keep the snow out if snow does get through any tears or anything in the tarp and then they'll be able to use it because last year they barely ever dust bathed because they uh, we couldn't replace the the dirt when they like shook it all out and they really like dust bathing underneath the coop, but they can't, th there's so much snow around that they don't like walking out there to get underneath the coop. So that won't be available to them. Oh, actually, look, uh, I don't know if she's dust bathing or not or going to dust bathe, but Minnie is under there right now. She's not dust bathing, but you can kind of see if you look closely that there's little dust holes in there where the, they have been dust bathing all summer long. Nice. I think that's all we had planned, right? Oh my god, oh, this, is, this is fantastic. <laughs> Arr, Captain Jared's getting pulled over by the conservation officer. <laughs>